everyone, this is Tim from Your Sick Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when your PlayStation 5 crashed and it won't turn on when you're playing a game. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So this is going to be a quick video for you guys. If your PlayStation 5 simply won't turn on, flip it around just like this and then locate your cords on the back. And simply unplug everything. So let's unplug my camera my LAN cable, my HDMI cable, and then finally my power cord right here. And then let's leave this all unplugged for approximately one to two minutes and then plug in. Now, if it simply doesn't work after unplugging it and plugging it back in, try leaving it unplugged overnight, like eight to 10 hours to let all the power inside your PlayStation 5 completely dissipate. Then go ahead and plug everything back in. So let's plug in my power cord first then my HDMI and my LAN cable and my camera. Now go ahead and locate the power button right here and then hold this down and see if you can get a beep. Or you can try to continue to hold it down for at least 30 seconds or continue to press it and see if anything happens. Otherwise, another way that you can try to prompt your PlayStation 5 to turn on is by using a disc. So if I try to insert a disc into my PlayStation 5, it will beep and it will turn on just like that. You don't have to put it in all the way. Now another thing to be aware about is your power cable. If it's connected to a power strip like this, maybe you accidentally turned it off. So go ahead and completely unplug this from the wall outlet and maybe try plugging your PlayStation 5 directly to one of these wall outlets just to switch it up and see if this powers on your PlayStation. So you can also try launching your PlayStation 5 into the safe mode menu by holding down the power button. So if I hold this down, I will hear one beep initially, and then I will hear another beep like five to 10 seconds later. And my PlayStation 5 will launch into the safe mode menu. And then I can take this USB cable and I can plug it into a controller. And then I can press the PlayStation button on my controller to operate the safe mode menu. So your PlayStation 5 has to be completely turned off for you to enter safe mode. There can't be a light on the light bar. It can't be orange or anything like that. It's gotta be completely turned off. Now in the safe mode menu, there's two things that we wanna go ahead and do to prevent this from happening in the future. Go to option number three, and then go to update using internet. And this will apply a fresh copy of the operating system for your PlayStation. Then we can back out of here and restart back into safe mode and go to option number five, Go to rebuild database, and if there's any kind of like copying or installing issues with your hard drive, this should go ahead and fix it. And it says it will take a few hours to go ahead and do this, but my experience only takes like five minutes. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.